All right, good afternoon again on this Tuesday on what's been a rainy Tuesday for a lot of you and really shouldn't be complaining too terribly much uh, because this is really going to help us out with the drought situation. Not going to completely get rid of it, but hopefully makes a decent dent in it, especially when this is not our only rain chances through the rest of the week. I have more rounds of rain on the way, not only uh, through next couple days, but also through the weekend as well. In the meantime, it's been cool today thanks to the rain 72 on the campus of UNT picked up almost an inch of rain so far this week on the campus of UNT Fort Worth also 72 7 tenths of an inch a little lower total for Dallas at uh, 0.65 at the moment 73 degrees but the rain still falling in Dallas right now rain falling across uh, portions of Collin County decent little downpour there on the west side of McKinney right over 380 drying out in Denton right now but you see some heavier downpours moving into western Tarrant County some downpours in and around Dallas County so the evening commute will be a wet one probably a slow one for most of uh, North Texas. Uh, Gainesville drying out after some earlier rain, but that rain is now falling in the Sherman area, Bonham back toward Anna and Northern Collin County as well. Generally drifting to the north uh, as we head through the next several hours. You can see it's a little lower coverage, but there is rain falling from mid to Waxahachie south of DFW. Little activity around Cleburne Hillsboro drying out after a downpour about uh, 30 to 45 minutes ago. So all this activity pushing up from the south. So what that means is that there will kind of be some on and off rain as we head through the remainder of the evening and into the nighttime hours. But the general trend will be for decreasing coverage the later in the evening and into the nighttime that we get. And by tomorrow morning, most places will be dry. We'll have another round of rain headed your way tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night. Here it comes noon starting to move into western North Texas. Pretty rainy across western North Texas during the day tomorrow, especially tomorrow afternoon, maybe into the evening hours as well. But this round of rain likely will push into DFW sometime tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night. If you're western DFW, you know, maybe like Burleson over to uh, places like Alito, Parts of Johnson County, parts of Denton County. Yeah, you might see some more widespread rain four, five, six o'clock in the evening. If you're Lancaster to Kaufman County to Rockwall, maybe a little bit later on in the evening, maybe more like eight, nine, ten o'clock before you see your round of rain moving in. But it will move from west to east across North Texas tomorrow evening and it's tomorrow night. Maybe a little lingering activity first thing Thursday, but most of Thursday looks dry. Maybe even get a little sunshine on Thursday, a break from the cloud cover that we've been seeing. There's also a chance tomorrow afternoon and evening with that round of rain. There could be a few storms that could be on the strongest severe side with a little wind and hail. But there you go. I mean, the overall risk is a one on a scale of five, so I'm not overly concerned about that, but it's not impossible to have a little gusty wind and hail activity. In the meantime, tonight will be damp, breezy and muggy. Showers and storms will generally be coming to a close as we head through the late night hours. Warm, breezy and muggy during the day tomorrow with late day rain and storms for most of you. Remember arriving sooner for western areas. 60% coverage of rain on Friday, 50% for the weekend, so we'll have more rain potentially Friday and into the weekend and then our strong front arrives. We go from the 80s to 50s. Nice and cool to chilly as we end October and start November. Also drying out as well, so I'm not worried about the trick or treat years getting wet, but you got to dress warm. I mean, highs in the 50s. I mean, that means by trick or treat time could be about 50 to maybe even upper 40s for trick or treaters next Tuesday evening.